What is going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are deep diving 30, get it, into one of the most hottest topics in Lost Ark, the Light of Salvation 30 card set. Should we be giving LOS 30 to everyone or should it remain a hard earned reward? That's the big question of the day and we can talk about the pros and cons for this, so let's get into it. But before we do, hi, hello, hola, bonjour. If you are enjoying the content and haven't already, click on that subscribe button. That subscribe button is waiting to be clicked by you. Did you click on it? All right, moving on with the video. But first up, Let's talk about the biggest pro here. Eliminating one of the most significant aspects of gatekeeping in the game. I can personally attest to how stressful it is to be unable to join raid groups because people expect LOS 30. It's ridiculous, right? It took me over a year to finally get LOS 30 and it was a grind to say the least. I was doing my part. I was doing the card runs. I was doing Legion raids all the time. I was bidding on those Abyssal Dungeons, whatever. I was one of those unluckier ones who got LOS 30 much later than all the rest of the people, even though I've been playing since day one. So it was really hard to find groups that had their shiny LOS 30 and were gatekeeping people for it. New and returning players, they're at an immediate disadvantage. You know, I've seen people just give up on raiding altogether because they couldn't break into groups that demand this card set. If we gave LOS 30 to everyone, we'd be removing a huge barrier, making the game more accessible for everyone. Now with solo mode, new and returning players can circumvent this issue until they reach the more end game raids that don't have solo mode yet. But not being able to have a choice to either solo or party up is the issue here. Another major pro is that the message it would send. It would give players faith that AGS is really listening to feedback and actually trying to save this game. Let's be real, Lost Ark has its share of ups and downs. Giving LOS 30 to everyone would be a massive sign that they are doing something big to fix the game. It would show they're committed to making meaningful changes that benefit the player base as a whole. And honestly, we need that reassurance right now. And one more thing, if LOS 30 wasn't such a pain to get, people could actually start focusing on card sets that aren't as essential, but are still helpful, like the Guardian Raid sets. It makes no sense that so much time and effort has to go into one card set just to stay competitive. I mean, it's pretty disgusting when you think about it. We've all just accepted this fate, grinding endlessly for something that is mandatory. Imagine how much more enjoyable it'd be if players could work on card sets they want to collect rather than being forced into this LOS 30 set that does give a significant damage boost. Anyone saying, oh, it's not necessary. It is necessary. It's a massive damage boost. But with every pro comes a con, right? Not a con, a con. And there's definitely some pushback here. One of the main cons is that the reactions from some of the veteran players. You know who I'm talking about. The ones who don't want to make it easier on newer players. You see this in my comment section all the time. Those boomers who say, back in my day, we walk through a hurricane every day to get to school. And other BS to act like they had hard times so everyone else should suffer. They'd be pissed if LOS 30 was handed out for free. I've seen these salty losers complain about even the free engraving support we've been getting. These are the same people 
who will love to gatekeep because they feel it maintains the game's difficulty from how it was for them back in the day. So yeah, they're not going to like this idea one bit. Another con is that there are always going to be people who take this the wrong way. You know the type, those who will be always asking for the next free handout. Once you start giving things away for free, it opens the floodgates. What is next? Some players will never be satisfied, and it could create this toxic loop where people just keep expecting more and more. And honestly, this could lead to some players quitting much faster. If they're used to getting everything for free, the moment they face an actual challenge, they'll be the first ones out the door. Now don't get me wrong, I am all for free handouts, for things that should be given for free. But there are some people that ruin it for everyone else. In economics, you call these the elastic consumers. And of course, while we are on the economic side of things, we have to talk about business and profits. Giving LOS 30 for free would seriously hurt Smilegate's card pack sales. Let's not sugarcoat, card packs are a huge pay to win feature in this game. They are always readily available in the in-game store and giving away LOS 30 would definitely cut into that revenue. Now, how much of that revenue? I got no idea. I don't care. But this is a major con for Smilegate because at the end of the day, they are a business. They need to make money and free LOS 30 isn't going to help their bottom line. So realistically, this might be the biggest reason why we won't see LOS 30 handed out anytime soon, unfortunately. Anyway, so should LOS 30 be given to all players? It's a tough question with no easy answer. On one hand, it would make the game way more accessible, eliminate uh, one aspect of gatekeeping, and give players faith that AGS is actually working to fix Lost Ark. On the other hand, it would piss off veteran players, uh, some veteran players. It would encourage a constant demand for more free stuff from uh, certain players, and it would hurt Smilegate's hard pack sales. Oh no. But anyway, I want to know what you think. Should LOS 30 be given for free or should it stay a hard earned reward? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more Lost Ark discussion. And a hello to my pineapple game. Appreciate you all for watching to the end as always. I really appreciate you all. And our secret word, shh, everybody, shh, secret word is night, N-I-G-H-T. And if you're wondering why, I just used a random word generator, so that's what it spit out. Okay, that's the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.